Alrighty then, so the next thing I'm going to need after that dries is some bolts. And I got some bolts right here that I believe would do the trick. Let me see here. Let me get these out. I went to the hardware store and bought up a bunch of this stuff a while back. On the counter, I figured this was something I'd be doing from time to time, and I, and I was right. Now, this fits that. And that will go right into the tail of that that uh, banjo, that block of oak, and it'll actually go up into the. Uh, I don't want that to go too far now, because see that has to meet another bolt that comes into it. So probably see this will. I'll drill this, and this will go up into the <clears throat> up into the guitar neck, and then this piece I'll attach to the rest of the can. Oh, I wish I could drill that now. I want to so bad. It's so hard for me to be patient. I'm the one, most, one of the most impatient people I ever met when it comes to projects. I'll get started working on something. If I can't do it right now, i just go into a hitting fit. I'm about to go into one right now. Whee! Alrighty then, I'm heading up to my banjo shop upstairs or what's left of my old banjo shop. I used to have a banjo shop in another house I lived in. When I moved up here, I just sort of stacked everything up here and it got out of hand, and it still is. But uh, I am wanting to make a tailpiece for that gas can banjo, and I got this one on this guitar that somebody else made. It looks like they bent up a piece of metal, made that by hand. I like. I like the looks of that. I'm going to need six strings. It seems like it'd be hard to get the strings to go through them holes without cutting the strings on the sharp edges. That could be a problem. Oh, I got one of these. Hmm. Well, and I got that one down there. Maybe I ought to. I'm still going to need a. I got to think of how to fabricate me up a a six string tailpiece. I've used a fork on the banjo, but a banjo's got four strings and a fifth string, and I can hang the fifth string right on top of the fourth string, because the fourth string don't never break. But I think I have to fabricate up something special here. Wonder what I can make. Hmm. 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 This is going to require some thought. Okay, I've got the uh, piece of oak glued into place. I've got a threaded rod inserted into the wood after drilling it out and connected to a uh, rod here that is sharpened on the end. I've marked the hole at the top of my can where that rod is going to go through. I'm going to punch that hole out and then uh, put the neck on. Okay, I got my neck on here and it's a good fit. I pulled the straight edge on it and it looks like if the can doesn't crush too much, should have a pretty good uh, bridge height. It's a good sturdy fit. It's on there to stay. Uh, I was thinking about what to use for a tailpiece and I had this old hacksaw blade laying in there on my desk and I was thinking, well, if I bent that right, spot welded it on there and then drilled six holes on it, that would make a pretty cool tailpiece. So I might do just that. I got some work to do on that. Well that did not work at all. I guess I just learned what a lot of y'all probably already knew that hacksaw blades don't bend. They break. Dang. I'll uh, have to go out in the shed and find me some other kind of piece of metal to put on there. But I'll find something. <laughs>